think about we have this small data set and the goal is to visualize it look at the pie chart it's very difficult and we are unable to visualize this data clearly but look at the customized bar chart each and everything is very clear we can see the category name the percentage the total sale amount so how we can create this chart i will show you each and everything in this video consider i have these two column of data set the first thing we need to calculate the percentage i will click on d4 sale type equal select the current sale divide by use a simple sum function open parenthesis select the entire sales column hit f4 key to lock the reference close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we calculate percentage but for data label we need to convert these percentage into a text percent value again i will click on d4 cell after equal sign we need to type text function open parenthesis what is the value this whole formula result is my value hit comma on the very end and for the format i will type quotation mark 0.0 percent quotation mark again close parenthesis hit enter now we get the same percent value but this is now a text percentage now again i will double click on d4 cell on the very end we need to type and percent simply type corrected 10 function and corrected 10 function will insert a line break in our formula and percent again and now we need to display the total sale with the k symbol as well simply type text function open parenthesis select the current sale hit comma for the format in this case i will use h comma h h zero and simply type one more comma for k and now simply type k symbol quotation mark again close parenthesis hit enter now if i click on d4 cell click on verb text increase the height of the row let's say this is how our data label will looks i think we need to insert an open and close parenthesis for the percentage on the first formula here you can see a percentage simply type open parenthesis close parenthesis hit enter and this is how our data label will looks now our formula is fine i will click on d4 cell unwarp and simply drag this till the end of the data set our data set are ready we simply need to select the first two column click on insert recommended chart and simply select the first bar chart hit ok for now i will increase the width and height of this chart a little bit more we don't need horizontal x axis simply click and hit delete key we don't need the grid line click and hit delete key we don't need these vertical category x axis i will click and hit delete key now i will click any of the bar right click format data series for the gap width i will choose let's say 20% hit enter the next thing is very important click on your chart you can see all of the bar are selected hit control c and simply type control v 3 time now if i click on format here you can see three series the next thing i will click on chart design change chart type we need to select the stake bar chart simply hit ok now we have three series the first series the second one and the third one i will select this orange series first click on plus button apply the data label now click more data label options label options and here you can see value from sale click on this one simply select all of the items name hit ok uncheck the value and show leader line for the position we want inside base now here you can see some of the data label are in two line we don't want this i will click on properties here you can see verb text in shape i will uncheck this one and now simply uncheck this one and check again now if i click on home increase the font size this will be remain in a one single line hit ctrl b to make it bold as well for the font color i will choose the white font color 
Now I will click on the very end series. Now click on this plus button, apply the data labels, more data label options, value from sale. In this case, we need to select all of the data labels. Simply hit OK, uncheck the value and show later line. Now for the data label position, we need to select inside base. Now we need to close this format data label window. As I told you, we have three series. I will select the very end series. Click on format. For the shape fill, I will select no fill. Now we just need to change the color. So how to define a right color which is look perfect? The best approach is we need to select all of this data first. And just insert a pie chart to get the idea of colors. For the first series, I will select this first bar and click again and now you can see only the first bar is select. Click on format and simply assign this green color. Now click on the second series, click again and you can see only the second bar is select. Again assign the same color. Date is all about how we select the color and our chart look nice. Click on data label, hit control B to make it bold and define a clear title. Now after a little bit of formatting, this is how our final chart is look. But if I just hide this column, what is happening? Everything is gone. Click on the chart, click on chart design. Select data, hidden and empty cell, and simply check show data in hidden rows and column. Hit OK and hit OK. This is how our final chart is look like. I hope you learned something useful and enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have anything else, just write me comment. Thank you so much.